Okay, this is what I've been up to uh, during the coronavirus thing. I've thought about this for weeks, and I didn't want to get going on it because I didn't think it was going to work. But that can right there, I found that can in the 99 cent store, and I thought to myself, could I make that into a Sterling engine? And I've made a lot of these things, and my thinking was, no, it can't. The shape is wrong. It's too deep. It's it's not right. But I made it. I made it work. <laughs> it's very very crude, and I can refine the design. But it does work, and uh, it's a standard design. If you go back in my videos, you'll find another one I made out of a cookie tin, Christmas tree cookie tin, and this is the same design. It's got a a foam uh, displacer that goes up and down inside of it and most of it gets burned away with heat but that's all I'm using for the the displacer and then uh, that's a latex glove finger and that's a uh, wire nut there and uh, there was a bearing in there that was too tight so I just pulled it away from the bearing enough to get this thing to run but there's a little sterling engine made out of a 99 cent store uh, can running on some tea lights. That's what I've been up to. Now, what I'm going to do is just uh, abandon the bearing thing and just go to a big old hole like that. And for this kind of thing, that's really all you need. Just some real sloppy holes with some crazy glue and it, to make it a plastic bushing. And it's far enough away from the heat that it doesn't bother it. You have to use something like this or ice, otherwise the heat differential is gone in a heartbeat because it's all steel. It's a steel can, and the whole thing heats up and it just stops. But uh, anyway, that's a culmination of a lot of things I've learned over building a bunch of these little Stirling engines. Thanks for watching.